Hi guys, it's Claire's and welcome to another Procreate video with me. If you are new to my channel, I do watercolor videos and Procreate videos on a weekly basis. Procreate is just for doodling fun. And uh, this week I had done this watercolor painting uh, for a tutorial and it is a field of tulips in a very loose style of watercolor. So if you guys like such things, please head on over and check this out. And today's Procreate video is going to be on loose tulips. And very much so in this sort of fashion, we are going to learn how to use some of Procreate's um, wonderful brushes to create tulips that kind of look like this. So hope you guys are excited. Uh, just as a quick note, I do have a pre-arranged or pre-determined palette ready and that will be available for you guys to download in the description. So please follow the link and download that and let us do this together. All right, so we're ready to begin. Uh, I'm going to make sure that this is turned off so you don't see all these layers. I'm just gonna make sure that my background is this nice blue or this super light blue, which is like right there, the second one, the second color on the second row uh, of my colors right there, or the second last one. And then I'm gonna make sure that, as you can see, I've already created some, um, some uh, layers with, and I have kind of named them already just to kind of quicken the process. So the background, we already have a background color, but then if you notice there was a little bit of a glow. So that's going to be this color right here, the first color, which is the white. And we are selecting this brush right here, which is wet glaze and it's underwater. And I have it at my highest at, as you can see over here for brush sizing. And I'm just gonna start from the center and do this kind of oval shape. And all I'm doing is just pressing down and getting a nice flare of color as you can see. Uh, and it's giving us like a nice glow. You can always adjust it later on, but I find that when you're using this to kind of draw the colors that we've selected, it's easier to, to view, especially when the background is like this, this blue. So now we're gonna go to tulips and we are selecting painting and oriental brush. Now we're gonna go ahead and select the lighter version of all these colors that you see happening here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the light peach and making sure that my brush size is about 4%. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm zooming in a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead, also making sure we're on tulips, yep. And we're creating these little tiny strokes, leaving some white space in between. The pressure is varying for me as I kind of draw in these little petals for the tulip. And it's like this. So I've got one petal here, one in the center, leaving white space. I'm creating another one off to the side here, right? And as you can see, I'm just lightly kind of going over it, doing almost like a shading kind of technique. So get used to the brushes and the pressure, and this is where you'll kind of notice how much flexibility you have with making something look a certain way. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead, select the darker version of that color, and we're doing the exact same thing, except we're doing it slightly lower so these can be peaking in the background. So if you're a gouache painter, this is kind of similar to that because we're doing the first layer and then we're doing the second layer with a darker color. And this is how we're getting that nice blending look. And you can even add some white in here if you wanted to really pop out some more. Uh, as you can see, these colors blend in really well and they look super light and pretty. Perfect, so now that I've done that, it's pretty much done. We're gonna select the darker green on the first uh, row. And for my brush, I am going to go ahead and select Studio Pen under inking and just making sure that it's not too thick. So I'm pushing it down to maybe, let's try 9%, see what that looks like. That's actually really good. Okay, so I'm gonna press Trail. Actually, I want to do it again. No, let's do it again. 
a little bit finicky sometimes. So yes, that's perfect. Uh, I like how that looks. Now we can kind of go ahead and create our um, leaves. And for leaves, we're selecting the same color. We're going to keep it on the same layer. Oops, you know what? Switch that really quickly. This was supposed to be on the stems layer. And we're going to change the brush back to Oriental. And let me just make sure I've selected it. Perfect. And now once we've done that, let me just zoom in so you can see. I'm going to select an area where I can do the leaf. So I'm pressing down. Okay, so this is clearly way too thick. So we need to make sure it is down to maybe 2% maybe even lower to like 1%. So using the tip pressing and trailing off. This might take a couple of tries for you to do and get something like that. And then you can just go over the edge there so it is smooth enough. And if you wanna make it slightly thicker, not quite that way, more like this. And then you have that nice, beautiful, organic looking leaf that almost looks like it is painted in. And let me try this one more time. There we go. Whoops. There we go. So I'm quite happy with how this looks. One more thing that I want to add. Going back to my tulips, I'm selecting the white color, which is that background there. And I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, I believe it was under inking, Studio Pen again. Pushing it down fairly low. I'm just going to add a couple of dots and lines in the center here. Just trying to making it peak just above that second layer that we did. Kind of giving it a center. Maybe this is not a tulip correctly drawn or painted, but I really like adding this white center to the flower. I feel like it really adds some extra depth and dimension and all that good stuff. I know tulips have a darker color there, but I think this works really well. So now we can do the same thing and kind of create some other colored tulips uh, using some of the other colors that we have going on. So back to our painting and sorry, artistic. No, it's painting. See, I always get this mixed up. Oriental brush, again. And making sure we're on tulips, we're selecting the lighter pink this time. And let's just see this. Okay, so this one's facing this way. Let's have one facing over on this end. So you can see how I'm doing that again. So this is the lighter color. Now we're going for the darker color. I'm going to increase the size ever so slightly. And I am just painting these strokes in, putting some off to the side, maybe one like even falling out just like this one here. Maybe even closing up like the front instead of making it look like there's several petals. Perfect. And now that I have that, I am going to go ahead, you know, since we're on this layer, just get that white. Go and get the inking studio pen. And I'm just going to go ahead and do these tiny little dots and lines for the center. Get that done and out of the way. Perfect. Going back to get my darker green. Making sure that I am on the stems and leaves section or la um, layer. Then going back to studio, which we're already selected on. Straightening my canvas. Making sure this is slightly thicker. I think we had it at 8 or 9%. And then just doing something like that. I'll make this slightly longer, yeah. And then now we need to do the leaves and the leaves were pretty much 
the same brush that we used for the flowers, which is oriental. And we're selecting the same green, just switching. No, we're keeping on the same layer as well. Just switching the size to, what was it? I think it was 1%. We had it down to 1%, so here's one. Let's Maybe slightly bigger because I'm trying to make this a slightly thicker looking leaf. Perfect. See, I love how that transitions. It just looks so pretty with the little white that you can, it's just part of the brush effect really. And just do one maybe over here. Perfect. And so you can see how pretty and light and loose these look. It doesn't take a lot of effort, really. I'm going to go get get the lighter pink and just add another petal here. Perfect. And you know what? I don't want to keep make this video tutorial too, too long. The whole idea was to show you something very simple and easy. So here's two. And I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the third one so you can see the time lapse of how that one is created and then we'll move on to the brown the brown petals no the brown leaves All right, so here's what that looks like. And I've noticed that uh, this could also use a little bit of white shading, just like I mentioned previously. So I'm gonna do some of that just so you guys can see how that looks. So I've selected the lightest white, which is also that background color from the palette. And I've gone ahead and selected the oriental brush. And I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see clearly. But I'm just going to go ahead and add a couple of really light strokes, kind of starting from the from the stem. And I'm just lightly kind of trailing off as I add these little tiny strokes into onto our little bowl-shaped floral here. And that's what that looks like. And I love the effect of it. Uh, you could even take... I think the smudge tool and maybe try and smudge it in and play around but if you feel like it's too much or just create this on another layer and just turn the opacity down perhaps and that should work as well but it adds almost like these folds or these shadowy light and shadowy effects to the uh, to our little flower that I really like difference right Add one happening there. Here's another one. Oh, you gotta use that go back tool quite a bit, especially when the transitions don't quite happen to your liking. So, almost done. Perfect. I'll have one starting from the top here. Even adjust the thickness of the of the brush if that is something that is, you know, not to your liking. But this is essentially what that looks like and I love it. So now we can go ahead and create the brown leaves that I was mentioning. And uh, then we are pretty much done our tulips. So for the brown leaves, I have created another layer already and I've named them brown leaves and then we're gonna go ahead and select the dark brown that we have and we're gonna go right into creating or drawing illustrating our cute little brown leaves and for that we're using um, the studio pen again which is under inking and I'm making sure that it is about what percentage two percent and we're going to start off by framing these flowers so I'm going to actually increase it to like maybe seven percent yes this is better and 
I'm going to create, so I've done one here, and it does help to kind of zoom in a bit and just add any thickness. You know what, let me just redo this all over again so you can see it a tad better. Nope. Placement is important for this. So sometimes multiple tries and there's no harm in that. So I'm doing that, that's perfect. Ish. No, I don't want it to be that out. Just around there, I think that's better-ish a little bit, yeah. And then let's do one on this end here. And because this layer is happening below the, on its own layer, I can always place it wherever I want. So I'm not worried about it being too overlappy looking or anything like that. So let's do one actually over here. Nope. Do one here. And sometimes it takes, most times it takes a couple of tries to kind of get the shapes that you want and that's okay. Just try, keep trying, continue. That's how you get better. Just don't give up. All right, so I have my placement. Now we're just gonna go in and create my leaves. So for the leaves, I'm just doing these simple oval shapes, elongated oval shapes, that is. Trying to have a variety of different sizes and creating a couple of extra stems as we kind of go along as well. Just like that, I like that. Uh, let's do some at the bottom. Over here. Or maybe just even having just the one instead of adding any additional ones I think should work. Zoom in for these ones. Perfect, and then because these are kind of fairly large, I'm gonna make sure that this one's kind of large as well so it doesn't look stick out like a sore thumb. But these are kind of fun to do, I think. Let's just make that one large, yeah. And you know what, could even do one that way. Actually, no. Take it away. Take it away, because we've got this one here. All right, and now comes the fun and easy part of it all, which is filling these in. <clears throat> so I'm just going to zoom in, click the brown, drag it in here, and it's as simple as that, guys. Like, it's so easy to do. And fill in So I like the simplicity of these brown leaves because it's a nice balance against the shadowy effects and the watercolor type effects we have with the with the tulips. So I think it works quite well filling in some of the white spaces here. And finally these ones and then we're done. So I my hope from this video is that I've shown you something new, how you can achieve these cute little watercolor type florals, and then take something um, cute and flat like these brown leaves. Very simple to do, mesmerizing to kind of create, and form your own little pattern, do your own little thing, and create your own little illustration. So. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Um, I would love to see your work, so please do tag me on Instagram or on Facebook and show me what you guys have done. Uh, maybe a wreath, possibly, a card. You can even add some lettering at the bottom. 
Uh, there's so many things you can do with these uh, with these kind of illustrations once you learn the technique. So uh, again, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll chat soon. Bye!